my lovelies, welcome to my channel. If you are new here and if you are not new, welcome back. So today we're going to make a, a very traditional Norwegian dish, but hold on. This is not the original one, okay? This is my version because this dish is called a Fodi Kål, which is a lamb with cabbage. But we're not going to use lamb because that's what's uh, originally, originally made with. So we're going to use our good old friend Saitan. Click there if you want to know how I make my Saitan, but after this video, because this is a super, super uncomplicated recipe, I promise you. We're going to start by cutting the cabbage into big bolts, like that. And it has to be big because uh, in the original recipe, they cook it for a long time in a very low heat, so everything softens up and then um, the meat flavors and the cabbage, they mix and mingle. But because we're going to cook the seitan separately, because I already told you that you're not supposed to cook the seitan along if you're making a broth or a stew or something like that, or something like that, because the seitan tend to leak that um, flowery, if you can say that, gluten taste, and that is not good. Instead, we're going to now make a simple marinade with um, wheat beer, vegan wheat beer. Pay attention to that. One tablespoon of soy sauce, and then you take this marinade and set it aside in your fridge. And we're going to let it marinating for a couple of hours or better, or overnight, if you can, if you have the patience or if you know that you're making this dish ahead. And that's another good thing about this dish. You can make it ahead. You can assemble everything and then only add the liquids the day that you're going to make it and then make it. And now we are going to assemble it. This is such a simple, humble and yet uh, warming dish, I think. And uh, the fact that it's made with only three, four ingredients, it's like very humbling. And uh, I like because it uses the cabbage, which is a very overlooked vegetable, but it's so filling and it's so delicious. So you place it in your pot. If you have a, a heavy duty Dutch oven uh, uh, pot like me, you can use it. So you assemble it like that. Now, the farikol is made originally with only black pepper, but because uh, I want to add some extra flavors to the food, because we can, I'm going to add black pepper, whole uh, black peppercorns, red peppercorns, which I love. They're super aromatic. They're not strong at all, as in heat. They're not hot at, at all, but they're very fragrant. So, and it's so pretty also. So you sparingly add like that. And green peppercorns. But if you want to add only the black peppercorns, just go for it. Now what I have here is uh, three whole garlics. For you guys who like, um, who keep asking me to make a, an oil-free recipe, this is it, right? And now we add the veggie broth. some salt, don't forget the salt, a little bit more of the wheat beer, and now we're going to cover it and I'm going to move it to my stove because my stove top, the small one, I don't think it's safe because this is so heavy, so I'm going to finish it on my stove. And when it's almost ready, or better, when it's ready, when the cabbage is uh, completely cooked through, then I'm going to add the sauteed seitan. And then, my friend, this is going to be so delicious. So, let's go. Have 
our final call. Almost ready because now we're going to add our sauteed seitan. You add them sparingly like that. Just accommodate. And now I'm going to move it back to my stove for five minutes more so everything gets um, all those beer flavors and uh, I don't want the seitan. Remember, I don't want the seitan to cook completely here. I just want it to mix a little bit with the flavors. So here we go again. All set. And Jesus take the wheel. What a beautiful and humble dish is that. You have no idea how this house smells. When I saw it the first time in Norway, I'm like, oh, okay, this is intriguing because like five or six ingredients, are you kidding me? And it like, come on, I'm gonna make it for my people. And here it is. And uh, they usually have it with a side of uh, boiled potatoes and that's it because Norwegian people are the best when it comes to turning frugal food into amazing uh, family meals. So I love them for that. And you really think that I'm not gonna try it? You are dead wrong. I'm serving this later for my friends, but of course I'm gonna take it just a little bit. And I promise you I won't double dip. <laughs> There's a loose cabbage leaf here. Hot. Mmm. This is delicious. This is so comforting and so low fat. I told you that um, this is an oil free recipe and it is. If you don't add oil to your skillet, I add it to because I don't trust it. <laughs> they say it's non-stick, but I don't trust it so much, especially when it, when it comes to protein, it tends to stick a lot, a lot to the bottom. But if you have a non-stick skillet, by all means, add zero oil and just saute the seitan as it is and we are good to go. How awesome is that? Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying my <laughs> Scandinavian recipes and please don't feel offended if you are Scandinavian and if, I, if you see me making this and you're like, this is not the original. Of course it's not the original because this is not meat. So it's my tribute to uh, you guys. Consider it this way. And I see you next time. Don't forget to support this channel on my Patreon. Click there. And to my patrons, thank you so much. If you want to support this channel, you can check it out, of course. And uh, check on my merch. It's going to be linked down below because part of my profit is going to be donated to my local animal shelter. And uh, follow me on my social media. And please, if you make my food, hashtag me or give me a shout out because I love when you guys do that because I make food for you. And I see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.